Welcome everyone to another video here with our latest overkill build a Ryzen 7950X in a Gigabyte Aorus Masters X670E. As you know on this channel we build open source 24-7 so the only substitute for performance is more performance. So on the previous overkill build at the end we got quite some extra performance using Debauer offset mounting brackets similar to those to position the cooler better over the CC axis, over the compute cores, and thus cool them better. Initially, Der Bauer found that on AM5 that might not have such an effect, but actually made a little bit mistake there in his test setup. So let's try today, if we get better performance, like better boosting, potentially two, three, four, five degrees lower temperatures, it should be possible to modify the AM4 kit, but there appears to be a brand new AM5 adapter kit from Thermal Grizzly, maybe with their bow, maybe not. And I'm a little bit surprised, so it's different to the previous kit, previous video, that came with this offset nuggets and uh, springs and stuff. This kit does not have this springs. So this is a little bit sparse. Also the manual totally sucks. Der Bauer, if you see this, maybe you should go over to him, neighbor here, not too far away. This manual, um, because I think he's invested in some Grizzly, right? I lose overview of all this stuff, but this manual really sucks. I'm not the greatest reads of freaking manual, but this is really, uh, seriously, you had one job. Um, it mentions nothing for AIO, for heat sinks, for custom water blocks. So is it compatible with all? or not, we will find out. It's also a little bit overpriced, the previous kit was 29, this is right now 32, 99 or so. I would, because this doesn't come with springs and stuff, I would rather think it should be 90, 19 and also understand its convenience, you can get screws and stuff yourself, but um, I understand it's super low volume for enthusiasts and stuff, but 32 feels a little bit, I understand probably hard to make profit with 1999 but I personally feel that should be more the price. So let's see if we can get this somehow installed and see what performance numbers we get. So and then the idea is to offset the whole cooler some five, six, seven millimeters, if you want to call it south, so that the center of the cooler is more on the center of the CC axis. Of course, mind your mother bought clearances. I think this new system could potentially be a little bit safer because previously with this springs and stuff you could screw here further down on SMD components on the board. So while it doesn't come with this spring tension system, it looks significantly safer not to short SMD components around the CPU socket this time around. So what I just took out here, where this NZXT Kraken set 73 custom standoffs. And what I usually do nowadays is keep the original box like from this board and when I take components out like this original logic board screws here I store them with all the accessories in this original box so that now I don't need to search screws I can just open the box and uh, hopefully this will work with this original screws here. And then of course carefully adjust the orientation in the old kit there was a template, the new one you probably just eyeballed that. We'll hold it a little bit, it doesn't turn. And for a dual CCX you of course want this 90 degree or whatever orientation you want to use. Um, just straight south for a single CCX you potentially could offset that a little bit to the side as well. But that's a dual CCX. So. So there are M3 and M4 bolts and uh, so that obviously depends then on what your cooler is using. Let's see if that still fits or if you need to trim. Actually that's a little bit tight there then. So that collide there, so there goes that. 
We could trim that though, but I guess this pipes collide, so thankfully I don't need all those under two slots, so I can simply move the SSD over or actually use it without a heatsink for test anyway. You could just trim this bracket, you could CNC or power drill cut and file that, you could just use another slot. Uh, this is a single side PCB, so actually removing this uh, thermal pad there actually makes a difference, but uh, so there we are. So because I personally don't want to waste so much thermal compound each time I do such tests, and this spread was pretty thin and even and stuff, I will just drop the one drop of isopropyl alcohol onto the center and then a tiny um, drop of thermal compound in the hope, oops, yeah, one drop is two, just to avoid always excessive use of thermal compound. Again, this should be the thinnest layer, so that probably should be fine. So unfortunately, this screw heads here are as high as um, the uh, bolt here, so you know, so for those who can read or um, open the eyes, the kit comes here with this through hole one, so that's certainly to the rescue. Time to see what the performance is. So the final verdict, it is the highest Geekbench 5 score I scored so far, 2407 single core bench and 26,689 multi-core. In terms of Linux kernel compilation, that can be like two seconds, so, but potentially I could also fine tune the undervolt and overclock now a little bit with also some degrees cooler headroom, so I saw here some two or three degrees less and also a little bit higher all-core boost on this diet in overclock with like 5300 megahertz for most of the Linux kernel compiler time, but that might not be comparable to Windows numbers as this is some direct register reporting and who knows what other metrics Windows exports. So the new AM5 adapter and offset mounting kit, way easier to install than the slightly more finicky AM4 version. Little bit expensive at 32 euro, I wish it were 90.99. I understand the macroeconomics here. And also for even more boosting, I would probably need to lap half a millimeter or whatever off of the enormous heat spreader. I hope you enjoyed this and learned something. I have some more embarrassingly parallel open source stuff to compile and actually debug. So it would be amazing if you share, like and subscribe and I hope to see you soon for all the next tinkering and code to come.